In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to check the switches, the LED light bar, and the relay on the development board. Let's start with the LEDs. There is a 10 LED light bar on the board. We're only going to be using the bottom eight. The top two are not connected at all. Off to the right side, there's a resistor network, and that provides the current limiting resistor for those eight corresponding LEDs and then the ends of those resistors are tied through the board to ground. So all we need to do in order to light the LED is provide the corresponding VDD connection using the connector that's on the left side. So if I take then a wire and I make my connection to VDD, and if you remember that's the four on the right side of this one by eight connector, VSS is on the left side. If I then make my connection to one of those LEDs, what I should see is the LED light. I simply then move my wire down and I should see the LED next to that light and do that for all eight of my LEDs and verify that they are all working. Now that I know my LEDs are working, I can use my switches to uh, verify that they're working. So what I'm going to do is get a small wire and make a connection from the right side of the switch to the LED. So let me do that. So there is a connector to the immediate right of the switches. The top two holes are connected together and they're connected to the top switch. The next two, the third and the fourth hole, are connected to the right side of the second switch and they're simply going down two by two for the third and fourth switch. Correspondingly, the connector that's on the left side, the top two correspond to the left side of the first switch, the next two for the next switch, the next two for the next switch, and finally the last two for the last switch. So in order to make the LED light, as before, I need to provide my VDD connection. So let me go ahead and do that. And you'll now see I have my VDD connection. I'm going through my switch. My switch must be in the on position because my LED is lit. If I take my screwdriver or something small, I can slide that switch and that LED should go off. So now I have verified that that switch is working. I can then move my wire that connects to the LED into the switch. I can move down two holes. I'm going to use the third set of holes. I'll move my VDD connection down to the third hole as well and I can check that switch and verify that it's working. Repeat that process then for the other two switches verifying that they are also working. And then finally, the last switch. So there we have it. All of my switches are working. All right, so now to test the relay, that's this over here, we first have to make sure that the relay is in the socket correctly. If you take a look at the relay, you'll see that there are two pins that seem to be separated from the other six. Those correspond to the coil. Those need to face up towards the diode. So it needs to go in that way. So my coil is up here. The connections to my coil are off to the side. Because of my flyback diode, I have to maintain polarity. So my positive connection, VDD, is on top of that two pin connector in my ground or VSS is on the bottom. So let me run two wires. Let me run my VSS. I'm going to use this white wire and I'm going to take it over to the bottom connection and then let me take the other wire. That'll be my VDD connection and make that connection. And what we should C is nothing, but what we should hear is a clicking sound. Because this is an electromechanical relay, 
when we energize the coil, we are mechanically changing the state of the contacts inside, and that's where we're getting that clicking. So the clicking is good. We want to hear that. When we apply power, we hear the click. When we remove it, we hear the click. So that's how we then verify the LEDs, the switches, and the relay.